Finish and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here. Hope you're doing well. And we are actually here at the D Hotel and Casino, Las Vegas, downtown on Fremont Street. And we are here because our buddies at the marketing department, including Richard Wilk, sent out a lovely little mailer that included some food and beverage credits, some play credits, as well as a couple free nights here. So we thought we'd go ahead and come down and take advantage of that. And what better place to take advantage of a dining credit than the steakhouse downstairs? Let's get started. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. All right, Spinners and Sharks, here we are. Joe Vicari's on Guillermo Steakhouse right here. I'm going to go ahead and pull the menu for you guys if you want to check it out. And then we're going to go ahead and order now. So got a gin martini coming my way. Shake I'm not stirred. You can probably hear the shaking right now. And we'll probably take a quick look at the restaurant from here. It is quite lovely. Got great music and the atmosphere is outstanding. And it's casual too, so you can come in dressed with uh, pretty much anything. I like to suit up myself. All right, guys, and we got ourselves some uh, Sapphire Bombay gin over here doing the martini thing. Actually, very smooth. You guys should get that one stirred and not shaken, though. That's not the right way to do a martini. I'm not sure what it is. James Bond, I think it's actually something that MI6 makes him do. But just FYI, you're not supposed to do it like that. Regardless, it comes out pretty nicely. I'm sure the price isn't too bad on it. I don't know where it is on the menu, but I'm not too worried about it. I'll let you guys know what the final price is. Um, right now, what I'm thinking, I looked over the menu. I think I'm probably going to have the risotto and either the bone and ribeye or the... I might get the New York strip too, but that ribeye is really, really tempting. You know, I usually get New York strip when I'm here. I think I'm going to go ribeye. I'll probably go ribeye this go around. Just for the record, they have a ginormous wine list on the back over here. It's pretty amazing. And you know, the prices are actually, they're pretty standard for Vegas. Uh, the lower end ones just buy the glass are about 10 to $15. And then the full bottles uh, range anywhere from, I think, as low as $30 I've seen them, which is pretty darn good, up to about... Uh, 600 or 700 or so which you know is also pretty standard for high-end steakhouses so just so you know relatively affordable things considered all right swinners and sharks so we're starting with our first little course over here a little bit of bread appetizer and some eggplant campanata good deal we're gonna have a bit of that so we've got eggplant onions olives caper celery simmered in sam rosado tomatoes whole nine thank you jessica appreciate that how are you doing mm. all right let's have a bite of this guys ready here we go Mm. That is hearty. Good stuff, good stuff. I think these are just a touch more salt. Otherwise, pretty good stuff. Hardcore four to five, no questions asked. Wow, guys, look at this. Okay, so this is our bone and ribeye steak over here. Wow, that is tender. That is soft. Good stuff, good stuff. And then the signature steak sauce is right over here. And of course, we've got the asparagus risotto. So, looking forward to that. Even got the chili on here. That smells spicy. That smells amazing. So, without further ado, let's dig into this. All right, guys, time for the mukbang. So, we got the steak knife, we got the fork. Let's go ahead and have a bite of this. We'll take the mask off now. Oh, it's juicy. That is one juicy steak, guys. Not so bad. A little overdone. As for medium, came out a little medium well, but whatever. Mm. Still melts. No problem. Good cut of beef. Char grilled. Plain. Well seasoned. That's pretty good. I think that's a legitimate 5 out of 5. I gotta give it up for that. Oh, that steak sauce is buttery too. 
It's like putting a pretzel on a steak, and I know that sounds insane, but that's really, really good. Now for the result. Uh -oh. Mm. Creamy risotto. Mm. Buttery. Good cheesy flavor to it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a solid four out of five, if not a five. I will. I think it's just a touch more salt. Then it would be perfect. But no complaints here. That's actually really good. I'm impressed. All right there, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's review and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Regarding my final thoughts on Andiamo Steakhouse, I think it's a good place to be. Definitely a really solid four star, if not kind of a soft five star there. The seasoning did need to be stepped up just a notch, but the quality of the food is definitely there. The pricing was actually right there, and the atmosphere, right on point. Classic Vegas, if you like that old school, old style Vegas, that's exactly where you want to be, no questions asked. Until next time though, Spinners and Sharks, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas.